now i want to talk more on my own personal journey from what i had to go through from a distorted parent figure in my case the distorted parent figure is the father figure the one who kidnapped me from where i belong and took this contract to ruin my life and played the pivotal role in doing this and since he, since this person wanted to be the center of control to be the main narcissistic psychopath in destroying someone's life the focus has to be on him because it was his assignment and his contract so all the fake family was already kept ready before i was transported here and thrown into a den of thieves wolves and animals and beasts nothing human about any of them he also had to make sure that i would never have a reasonable amount of connection or reasonable amount of relationship on a healthy level to anybody around me including the mother figure even though she is also a false mother figure who was made to believe that i am her daughter and all that the distance like i mentioned in the video yesterday the narcissistic psychopath has to make sure to come in between two people always to be the the one who breaks down the communication to breaks down the uh, healthiness from you know building up because the whole idea is to break down so in order for us to never bond not like she has any real emotional capacity but she has enough a little bit even that would be too much because they refuse to let me have any kind of sense of security safety love or warmth or care of any kind so she would just be because he married her for the sake of her abilities to be a nurturing person a, th- a caring uh, a loving person a devoted human who would never leave her husband even after realizing he is a crook the overly nice woman who is who cooks well who does things who is a very good a free servant that would serve forever that's the only reason he picked her because that's what the cult asked him to look for because to transport this child into this house there has to be a setup made ready and that was the part of the setup it's literally what it is the so setup had a role to play and uh, she couldn't nurture or care or love or do the things that a real mother figure would do they have to make sure of that the focus should be on the father figure only because the target was for him to destroy me so this bastard is no different from the the bastard that i met the spiritual assassinate he is also an assassinator and he is also a murderer a crook a thief a fraud uh, he is a criminal who was brought into this mother figure's life to trap her like i mentioned about uh, uh, in the in, in the marriage part where i talked about pick a devoted really good women with values enough to for her to stay in the marriage and not leave so good and so committed to the culture cultural norms as to not leave the husband whoever it is whatever it is sacrifice yourself for him that kind of typical female uh, figure so is that kind of person so he picked her for that and he has zero respect for for her in the first place because like i mentioned it's about a cult contract marriage the contract was i would sit on my ass forever and she would do all the work she would do all the work the male work the female work the, the social everything everything she does everything for everybody except for herself and that's how they picked her they chose her for that purpose and then i came into the picture there was a narrative put around as to who i am what i am blah 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 lies so this father figure has to be the center of attention because he has to try and destroy me as much as possible from me being who i am so from a very 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 engaged he was critical of me he was just every day commitment is to make sure that i feel rejected dejected uh, ignored kept aside 
uh, always treated like a burden, a nuisance that would just go away. Because that's exactly what they were projecting to their black magic, the cult people. Uh, all the magic and projection was being done uh, even before I was in the, my, my mother's womb. Like I mentioned, they, they, they tracked, they spiritually kept an eye on okay which family who is going to bond with what kind of powers and what is their how huge is going to be their purpose and how wealthy are they going to be because it's not just about spiritual purpose it matches that level of stature in the physical world also and i was born into that kind of very high stature wealthy family they just told me from there and they have to make sure i believe i'm a nobody like them losers like them so his job was to break me down so this bastard was already a crook, a criminal. He has killed people. He has trapped a good woman in a, in a fraudulent devil marriage, devil's contract, prevented her from doing anything good with her life. That story is different. And his job was always from day one to make sure that I feel rejected, neglected, abandoned and literally thrown into a cold cave with full of den, uh, den of wolves and lions and all wild animals there and literally made to survive on my own and that is also why very quick on by I mean I already mentioned it three four times by the age of six months I figured out this is not my home these are not my people no way this is why because I could see I could feel I could sense their intentions I could sense their motivations their feelings and then came the brainwashing and hypnotizing by telling that I am an orphan I mentioned it in few a couple of videos before. I made it private now. Uh, so someone who is also in cahoots with him in kidnapping me was uh, hypnotized, tried to hypnotize me by saying, when I started questioning within me uh, as to this is not my home, these are not my people, and I I want to find my pe people. Since they took me far away from where I belong, they had to make sure it stays that way. So they tried hypnotizing me and brainwashing me into not only feeling abandoned and rejected when they figured out that I am looking for answers as to this is not where I belong so I have to go back or I have to find who I, uh, where I belong, who are my people, longing and wishing okay, to be there. So they had to brainwash me into thinking I am an orphan. That these people are doing me a favor by not throwing me on the streets. But right now I have a roof over my head and a bunch of people around me pretending to be my family. And that is the best I have. That I have to f shut my mouth and stop looking for answers and shut up and just bear with it. Because this is the best I could get. Yeah. This is what they tried to plant me in me as a very very young child. Less than one year old. And... Uh, this, this, like I mentioned, from day one, he, 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 he has to make sure, this criminal bastard had to make sure that he violates me. Yes, he did touch me inappropriately a few times. He exposed himself inappropriately a few times. He misbehaved a lot of times and the boundary crossing was very, very clear even as a young age. I could, I could know his intentions and the perversion in him and I always always made sure I stay away from him as much as possible and not stay uh, vulnerable around him in, in any way shape or form because I, I know who he was I knew who he was long before I knew who I am yeah and in the meantime luckily for me I connected with God and God made me protect myself by not uh, in, in different ways from their their, their perversion or negativity to fall on me so that I won't believe in the lie because I went to God because I didn't believe in their lies. Their goal was to make sure you are the scapegoat, you are the scapegoat, you are the scapegoat, you are the black sheep, you have to be sacrificed because like I mentioned it's a ritual. You have to be targeted from the birth, from the day moment of first moment you entered their lives, you have to be put down and criticized and because they are trying to make you the sacrifice, the safe scapegoat for their criminal, fraudulent, illegal activities. That was originally the plan in the first place. Imagine, for 36 years. And this is, this is the key person that started all of it. 
and everybody around him did the same thing i already told all the stories of what was happening about me and around me and behind me and including the spiritual assassins who entered my life in the form of lovers and friends and colleagues and peers and everything but today i want to focus more on the main father figure who was the main person who took this contract so yeah he violated and re- re- disrespected me from day one he he made sure that i feel abandoned and rejected and a burden nuisance who needs to be thrown away but for some fav- some reason they are doing me a favor by not throwing me away i would they, that they would rather just like the spiritual assassin created situations and then threw black magic and suicidal thoughts in me by saying that she would i would rather that she takes herself out of the picture so that we can all take everything that is rightfully hers steal everything including money gifts everything about her and then get away with all our crimes that we committed against her before she could even realize what her role is who she is what her purpose of life is and how strong and powerful she really is with god the same way this person was her his target was make it so extremely difficult and challenging and make it feel so rejected and dejected for her that she would rather feel like i would be better off on the roads alone somewhere run away rather than be here so that then we can say ah because they were already already even as a young child they were already weaving through the same narratives that they were weaving around me behind my back about my character my personality my mindset my emotional state my stature my everything about me behind my back they were having narratives and conversations ah she has always been a nuisance she has always been a problem she has always been unstable she has always been a runaway kid she has always been always been always been they have to because it's a curse and it's a spell it's a magic so they have to keep saying these things again and again and again and again on you in your name by putting their putting your precious name in their filthy mouths and minds and bodies they want to keep on projecting that negativity and curse and spell and magic onto you and that's what they did hoping that it would touch my aura and i would accept it and i would become what they wanted me to become so that i could become the sacrifice and they could escape with their crimes because this is i am not the only person they did it with this is a regular job for all of these crooks so the narrative was there as to how deranged i was and how much of a nuisance i was and how much of a problem and headache for her to be even there here exist her existence itself is a nuisance for her we are all doing a favor by showing love and care by just not throwing her on the streets but she's such a nuisance and this was the narrative from the childhood yeah and everywhere when when, when i mentioned in other videos where i was left in very vulnerable dangerous scary situations even as a child when i was left in such and situations which are dangerous and scary and vulnerable for a child for her safety it's because it was all intentional so that they could paint a picture ah she is she is run away she just went missing because i wouldn't leave they tortured me so much by the age of 7 or 8 also they hoped and wished that i was in that space mentally where i realized what's going on around me and this is suff- this is too suffocating and unhealthy and uncomfortable toxic downright dangerous for me i would rather run away kind of thing so they were hoping and wishing she would just run away we can sacrifice her she would be invisible to the whole world and we can feed off of her wealth and trust fund forever she would never her existence would never even come up because the fake clone the clone who is living in my identity even as a child they switched so that switched clone was already there living somewhere in the us in my name in my identity in my existence already so everything is set in place and ready let this let this child be destroyed and made invisible and killed and sacrificed as early as possible so that we can continue on with our stealing man nobody would even know that she existed but she wouldn't die she wouldn't leave she wouldn't go missing she wouldn't god but god but their goal was that 
they put me in such kind of situations and expect and hope that i would just go missing and disappear or go go get an accident yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so they so by doing so they told themselves i am not getting i am not even getting my hands dirty she is killing herself she is putting herself in danger you see the justification the story the weaving the narrative that's how they behave that is what it's a narcissistic psychopaths behave that is how twisted in their head things are that is how they blame everything on others and everybody around them because they twist everything around in their head and say oh i did not do it it was x y z it's always something or somebody never them and this is exactly what they were weaving behind my back hoping and wishing and every day doing magic and doing everything in their power to kill me go make me go missing make me go kidnapped and raped and trafficked somewhere and they did a god allowed only for the kidnapping at birth to happen because he decided okay he told them to leave me alone at birth itself leave 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 because he knew what these people were doing to other children at birth stealing their destinies and energies and money and wealthy from wealthy families and all that so he want no do not this child not no 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 it's not a warning that he was giving now recently because he they, enough you tortured her for 36 years with by you know including billions of people against her because she is literally a divine child it's not a new warning they, he started warning from my birth itself don't do this don't do this to her leave her alone and they refused so that's the only thing he allowed and all this harassment he allowed for his own reason but when it comes to missing and kidnapping and going trafficked and all these things and killing he was there every time to protect me but they put me in those situations oh they loved to put me in those situations and get away with it like come on die man why don't you kill yourself already why don't you die why don't you go missing why don't you get, why don't you just disappear so we can continue feeding off of everything that's yours freely without having to worry about oh my god she's growing up and what do we do how do we hide her hmm? why go through all that pain we are thieves we would rather steal as easily as possible why would we want to work for it you are making us work even as a child they hated the fact that i made them work even in being thieves so that was his role to break me down to make me feel invisible to 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 uh, expose himself indecently to me as much as possible and create that ugly disgusted environment around and make me feel so uncomfortable and so unsafe they hoped and expected that i would leave because i'll tell you something the person becoming so suffocated leaving the home was something that was already an orchestrated thing and it has happened before to other victims too but i did not they put the thought in me so many times the chip and all that right but i did not i had my own reasons and god was there with me and like, no 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 we will 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 get through this and he puts me down he criticizes he is always about finding out what takes me so that he can abuse me he traumatize me hurt me and make the hurt more and more by making it more frequent and more often making it impossible for me to just get over it and move forward and heal and grow the same way the spiritual assassin was doing the difference was before he 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 entered my life 10 years ago through spiritual manipulation but this bastard literally it was his contract to break me and keep me ready for that bastard to come and fully destroy whatever he couldn't do the spiritual assassin was to finish yeah so he has to talk nasty about my name he has to spread rumors gossip false narratives about my character about my cheap ass thing i'm a i'm a prostitute i sell myself i do drugs i i put myself out there i don't i don't do work at all like i said they manufactured situations where i can't even go to work peacefully because they cannot even see me have enough money to take care of myself and survive and wear a decent dress or be be presentable 
they hate it like i said if they if i have a smile on my face they cannot bear it they will if i sleep properly for one night they cannot bear they have to destroy it they have to take it away they put me down so much that they take away that smile that they take away the glow that take away the peace i had because i had a good sleep last night and that was his job it was an everyday job it was an every second job and every day wishing and hoping that i would just go man just go find yourself a toxic person and just leave us so we would get our hands free of a few and then since you chose a toxic person most likely is going to break you down so much that you would be ready for sacrifice right now you're still pure like come on already and i didn't and then after a certain point of time they figured i'm not going to leave just like the previous victims did you know then they can claim oh i don't know she just ran away she's just been a mental she is an emotional wreck she is always been a nuisance and one day she just disappeared the idea was to sacrifice her and that was the idea for me too and i did not do that so now they have to work extra hard to create all other people around me more fake people more fake fraudulent clones come into my life to energy harvest and cheat and betray like enough betray betray her enough betray her enough to break her enough so she would leave hmm. and then they started literally doing it directly using using the sibling figures cousin figures and other figures in the other in, in this fake family by making them put ideas or even straight straight away directly making uh, statements like oh, why don't you just leave see the see the narrative these are sub, these these are the so called you know siblings and cousins and other people around even the elders and their idea was always to make sure that i leave how is it that since i was not leaving they had to put that idea in me you know what you can leave you can leave if there is anything that i would ever do i would do it on my terms the best way possible for me not because you are suggesting something to me and especially what you are suggesting is dangerous to me they thought i wouldn't think so and they literally starting saying oh why don't you just leave me oh my god such a disgusting mother figure in the house such a disgusting father figure in the house like you can't even you can't even have a life a career a relationship a marriage and anything stable in your life like they can't even they won't allow peace in you oh they thought i didn't know what role they were playing so whenever i had conversations i rarely had conversations because i already knew by 6 months nobody here is worth any shit so when i was grown up a little bit and i started little bit of talking and socializing when i start talking they they took it as an opportunity oh my god now she is finally talking she is not even like shut down and keeping her to herself i was keeping myself safe like that for many many decades i only started opening my mouth less than 8 9 years ago socializing speaking expressing like that because i know i i i, I could never trust anybody even now i don't but i've learned enough to know where to put the boundaries and walk away uh, so when i first started speaking out and opening up they were like amaya we can use this opportunity to lure her and to throw her away so they started suggesting oh why don't you leave it is such a discomfort to be in this house with these people man these are the same people in the same house only i look at the narratives and they are the ones still staying there comfortably because everybody was stealing everything from me the money the, the just a spend the house the inheritance the the energy the potent energy the van the, the manifestations that come with it literally every day they were getting instructions from these cult people as to how to mistreat me literally there is a script i told right yesterday in the video so they were all playing a script to the team and they are the ones who are trying their best to make me leave the same toxic house that they were telling stories about now how come you are not leaving ah because the goal was to make me leave because you have a narrative to fulfill you have a false police report about my character to fulfill you have a money and inheritance to steal from you have a whole identity you stole from and you have to get rid of me and god is too much that i am not dying that i am not leaving i am not going missing i am not i am not as invisible and under the rock as you always wanted me to be put myself in dangerous situation so we could get rid of her but she is not putting herself in. they put the, they put me they they used, they used black magic and other things to put me in really 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 dangerous situation even as an adult as a young woman who is trying to build a career 
very compromising situations i could only give credit to god for magically helping me intuitively to get out of those situations as quickly as possible as quickly as possible i was tried to be trafficked so many times and the main orchestrator of all this is the father figure and the siblings and everybody else everybody else at all i'm not saying the mother figure is fully innocent she has her own unhealed aspects which they tapped into and they put some spirits in her she is also there she is emotionally abusive and all that it's only that she doesn't actively participate in being all this but she is not much better than them as well but she didn't have a direct contract in that terms that's what i mean to say because she has to be the sacrifice also so the one who has to be the sacrifice will not be a direct participant she has to be the victim right so that's that's how it is so her role of victim was different my role was victimization was different so it was all a lonely journey and then this suggestions of oh why don't you just leave why don't you just leave this kind of bullshit was happening and i could figure out ha huh, they are putting me in very dangerous situations i mean this is already bad enough and worse enough what they are already doing on a daily basis i could see and now they keep on saying oh why don't you just go there why don't you do this why don't you do that why don't you just leave man this it's as toxic it is as toxic for everybody else okay so how come you're not leaving how come you never had to leave and these are the people who married other toxic people through this cult uh, agreements so they could enter my life and make the torture more because as these people the so called siblings and so called cousins and so called everybody around me uncles and aunts and other figures started marrying and started bringing their children and their their marriages everything into picture as as more people got added the more burdens started piling up on me because they were all part of the same cult stealing from me from birth and they were all adding up and piling up because the goal was to destroy me and completely kill me and make me invisible and they feed off of of everything the burdens has to keep on increasing keep on increasing keep on increasing suffocate more and make it impossible for her to not have any hope as to there is nobody here who is you know respectful enough for me in any way shape or form the the thing they did not realize is i could see they were never worth it of anything in the first place i had my own visions and god had his own visions for me and god has his own visions for them so this went on this went on and this bastard's goal was literally to put me in this kind of compromising dangerous situations put me in situations where Uh, the cro- crooked men who whose vibe itself is like pedophilic and rapist and who have multiple relationships with women and grown grown as men and make me put in put myself in vulnerable situations with them leave them in their houses or leave them alone with them and i could sense the creepiness and i have to find my way out of the situation before anything would happen to me yeah the goal was to taint me taint my reputation taint my soul taint me so much as much as possible to make it enough for them to make me a sacrifice because without that they couldn't kill me because i'm not dying they tried the accidents the payments the kidnapping the trafficking the she went missing kind of random random looking missing events none of it worked and we try to break her down she is not breaking because they are stalking and looking through cameras and all that right they are sending entities she is not breaking no and then we send the spiritual assassin finally is like dude you come and finish the work for us and uh, the rest of the stories are all about that dude and this is another bastard so it was always about putting me down and this the two key aspects this father figure always focused on i'll tell you how horrible they are two main curses that he tried to put on me because so he was so committed to cursing me and polluting my soul and making me a sacrifice because it was his target it was his contract two main things he kept on repeatedly saying things like if rape it, rape is inevitable enjoy it if rape is inevitable enjoy it you see because that was their goal for me to be violated like that and make it think it is okay so this was very very early on put on in my head another thing he kept on cursing was 
don't ever marry man don't ever marry man don't ever marry man you are not capable of marriage you are not capable of taking care of yourself this is the narrative they are spinning in behind my back right she is not capable of taking care of herself at all so the narrative was don't even marry man don't even, because they know my marriage is royalty at a divine level and the whole point is for me and divine partner to come together to change this fucking fucked up world from crooks like this from demons like this so since they know exactly how they uh, why they targeted me and it was literally a contract these two things were something he kept on piling on me from child aside from all the abuse psychological and emotional abuse and neglect and abandonment and making me feel like a nuisance for them every day just for speaking my needs like in like i mentioned in other videos just for speaking about your basic basic needs be it hunger be it thirst be it just to be held in the arms just to be you know taken to school or taken to somewhere for fun taken to movie oh my god or buy a pair of clothes buy a pair of underpants buy a, buy, a, buy something fun to play with or buy a chocolate i had to buy a small chocolate bar and not because i asked for it i couldn't i i i was afraid of asking for anything i would be pondering in my head but i would be keeping quiet about it they know they are studying right they want to feel control important like i control her so he would open up after a certain long time after i pondered over the chocolate or something something whatever it is in my head he would suggest uh, okay go uh, do you want to buy something today they have to open up like that for me to finally say uh okay i'll take this because i know if i take anything more than that the repercussions on the emotional and psychological abuse would be uh, much more so in order to prevent that i have to keep my needs as tiny as possible even as a child so if i manage to buy a bar of chocolate after weeks of pondering over it and not asking because i know i would be rejected and put down as if i'm asking for a luxury while the rest of the siblings enjoy everything freely even this quander money just like that because the cult is paying for that the assignment was that and to in your face discriminate and put you down and to break you down i didn't take it any personal god god help me through that so i had to buy a small bar of whatever it is and i have to eat little bit of little bit of little bit of it for weeks again until they buy me and i wouldn't be able to ask openly for what i want they have to open up and say you want to buy something because they already studied waited for me to get into that space of weeks and weeks of pondering over it and not asking they felt important by saying <laughs> i will be the reason why she buys today not because she wants she wanted weeks ago i suppressed it she was afraid to even open her mouth and ask so today by opening up that opportunity and said do you want to buy i would feel important i would feel in control just like i feel in control of the narrative of her character behind her back this is the level of torture torment and psychopathy and sadism the obsessiveness for power and control and domination over somebody to destroy someone's worth self esteem this is how they do and they had fun with it everybody involved had a lot of fun with it they had fun when they put me in those situations they laughed they smiled they joked they celebrated they had high fives while they lived good lavish lives out of my money i was put in situations like this and they had fun with it he would study me in detail because he has to give the information to the cult because they are preparing a clone that has to replicate me so every detail of who what i do in the daily the daily basis will be reported back to them everybody around me was there for that purpose how would she interact with you what would she with you what would she do with you what would she do with you what how would she talk or what would she talk or what is her everything it's not enough that they put things in your head and body to find out stuff it also has to be study of your behavior to down to the de detail detail because the clone has to look human behave human present themselves to be human even though they are not human right that's how, that's how they have to go into details how does she carry herself what does she do in her private space 
how does she sleep even when she is sleeping will interrupt, interrupt with her dreams and sleep and bother her and let's see how she reacts let's torture her to the every every last detail of her day breach her privacy and when she comes to you and say something is doing happening energetically something is happening because i know i am a sensitive being i know when black magic or something is being done so when i go to that person to talk about anything not only black magic emotionally or anything happening they have to cast like me you are mental you are emotionally unstable you have a mental illness you don't know what you're talking about because you are finally saying something by opening mouth you have to be shut down you have to be immediately shut down you have to be gaslighted you have to question your own intuitions and gifts you have to be put down because you the goal was to get rid of you you are a threat and you are not doing it you see the noise around yeah that's what they do whenever speaking whenever i am speaking truth i don't care the words are here you can hear me there is a, you, you know my story and i am not going to stop so you have to be put down in every way shape or form if you talk about something manipulative going on because you have a very pure heart you could sense if there is a lie you could sense there is an emotional uh, manipulation you could sense if there is a psychological manipulation if you could sense if there is a black magic going on you are extremely sensitive so when you go and try to finally open up they have to immediately shut you down put you down because the goal was to keep you shut as much as possible you should not be visible you should not be seen you should not be alive you should not be heard you should not be touched you should you should not be anything touching in the sense only in the sense of in the sense of violation yes we will enjoy it because you are not willingly allowing anybody but we are doing it through domination we like it willingly respectfully and it's not fun we have to rape you we have to violate you so only then we can feel important we can feel man enough and women enough so everything has to be a disrespect put down a derogatory something so you will be gaslighted whenever you go with something suspicion and whatever you are opening up with you have to be put down because oh my god she is opening up her fucking mouth man we wanted her dead already so that we can live off of her money for eternity and nobody would even know her about her existence at this new sense is coming and opening her fucking mouth Why don't you go fuck somewhere else, far away? Like just, just go somewhere, hide in somewhere in the dungeon, so that we can at least, if you don't die, at least you will be so invisible and you won't be heard, seen. You will be so invisible. You, we want us to be like that, and you're opening your fucking mouth, you're opening your fucking eyes, you're opening, you're opening up your gifts and intuition and third eye and whatever you see, and you are actually speaking about it. You're trying to make friends. Oh my goodness, no, we have to keep her as alone as possible. Nobody should even know about her, man. If she gets a little bit of support. we are out of here we our game will be over and we will be exposed we can't do it keep her alone make sure nobody comes that's why they have to tightly orchestrate every single event in my life because nobody whoever comes into my life would make sure that they won't support me or be my support system and actually make me help figure out the truth and actually expose and bring out the truth of who i am and what my purpose is and everything all my gifts and what's happening behind my back you are mental you don't even know what you're talking about you are a mental you have to be thrown in mental hospital you can't survive on your own you need me to survive yeah that's another narrative as i started growing up because i was not dead yet and i was in my 20s and i am actually getting into career and getting into ideas of you know partnerships and marriage and love and this kind of things so they started thinking oh they started weaving the new narrative i'm like oh she is so incapable that we have to literally even if she gets married we have to i have to not we because by the time his plan was to sacrifice the mother figure and then he has to latch on to me he has to latch on to me so he his narrative was oh she is so incapable of taking of taking care of herself that even if she gets married i have to go and live with her just so she wouldn't get into trouble just so she you know she can't survive she can't do anything on her she is mentally there or emotionally there she is not even like normal she has problems oh the narratives the narratives the narratives the narratives oh wow wow they kept building it for decades and decades and decades every single person who ever came into my life they played a role in this you know building up this narrative <clears throat> and then started this literal legal issues and police going on to this narratives to the level of legal 
piling up on false police reports on me. The same lies turned into bigger ones, more solid ones, because hey, we, we have a lot of people in power, we can pay them off to make these reports look legit. And then we can frame her for something that she is not doing. In fact, we will frame her for everything that we are doing. Because that's the idea. That's what sacrifice is, right? So, ultimately, she will be thrown off in jail or put in mental hospital or be sacrificed, killed or destroyed somewhere invisible. The way, in the, the, the level of invisibility that we are hoping for her. That she will be gone and we can just sit down and get away with everything, man. And that was the goal from the day one of my entry into this fake ass fucking karmic families that were never real families a setup a setup where it was f the goal was to set me up ultimately everything went wrong for them because i'm i'm here i'm in my power and i am the truth that's how badly they had to treat me to make sure that I put myself in dangerous situations. If I didn't fall for the traps that they set me, they hoped and wished and did all that magic and manipulation so that I would set myself up at least by putting in compromising situations. But God, but God had different plans, so did I. So this was the narrative about me since childhood and then the adulthood and then the marriage age and then how unstable and incapable or incompetent because the power of attorney that's why it has to go legal you see so the inheritance and trust fund and everything else that's associated with it has to come to me they have to claim that I'm incapable of taking care of anything to fit the narrative to fit the ultimate goal so they can take the power of attorney and walk away with everything while I did not even know what's happening behind my back everything all this had to happen under the hands under the radar behind my back I should not I should not have even been known about known about any of this according to them the plan started failing once I got to know everything which I knew from a long time God just Allowed me to just keep quiet. Because they trained me to be quiet and shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up for so long. You don't matter. Your voice don't matter. Your opinions don't matter. Your intelligence don't matter. You don't matter. Your voice don't matter. Okay, your words don't matter, right? Put down, put down, put down, put down. So God was like, just play along for a little bit, little bit. Until I say open your mouth. And once I started being myself and then opening my mouth, the cookie crumbled. And it's over. Because everything was a lie around me. And only truth lives. And so, the narratives, the goals, and the ultimate and original plan of the distorted, crooked, criminal father figure who had a contract on me. And who had contracted other people through that contract to get me out of here, out of the picture. 